Hi everybody, it's February now, and instead of doing a Valentine story time, I thought we'd do a story about how I love the library, and I hope you guys see how much you can love your library too. So this book is called Lola at the Library. So what's it look like she's doing? It looks like she's getting four books. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happens in this book. Oh, is she waking her mom up? Oh my goodness. Lola loves Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, Lola and her mommy go to the library. Ooh, every Tuesday. The library opens at 9 o'clock, but Lola is ready to go long before that. She puts all the books she borrowed last week in her backpack. And her library card is also very important. Ooh, she's good at remembering. She's got all her books and her library card. The library is not very far away, so Lola and her mommy always walk there. Ooh, it looks like they ran into another mommy and there, another kid. Lola and her mommy give back all the books from last week. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, and there's a special section in the library just for kids. It's really cool, and nobody ever tells them to shush. Ooh, they got toys and games just like we do here, huh? Sometimes they're singing. Lola knows all the words and all the hand signs for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ooh, they do music too. And sometimes there is story time, just like right now. Lola loves story time. Wonder what book they're reading. Looks like there's a dog. After story time, Lola chooses her books. In the library, she can have as many books as she wants. Lola likes stories with bears and anything with shoes. There are so many. It takes ages to pick out one. Oh, she's got all those books to go through. Mommy has some books, too. The librarian buzzes them through the machine. Beep, beep, beep and stamps the date inside. Lola has to bring them back in two weeks, just like our library. But she will probably be back before then because she's so excited to read. Lola and her mommy always get a snack after visiting the library. Mommy has a cappuccino and Lola has juice. Oh, but what is that? Whenever Lola has been good, her mommy lets her taste the foam from her cappuccino. Mmm. She must have been good then. Then it's time to go home again. Ooh, they ran into a doggy. Every night after Lola is tucked into bed, her mommy reads her one of the books that she got. It is the best way to end the day. Sounds like it. Oh, and do you think she's going to come back? I think she is. All right. Now we have another book about a cat in the library. His name is Dewey. What is he doing in there? Oh, look. He's climbing on top of the books every night. People left books in the return box of the library in the small town of Spencer, Iowa. Funny books, big books, truck books, pig books. They left them all. But one night, on the coldest night of the year, someone left a strange surprise. <gasps> a tiny kitten! They put the cat in the drop box. Oh my goodness. Don't do that. When Vicky, the librarian, found him the next morning, the kitten was cold and scared and very, very dirty. Oh, Vicky took one look and decided to give him a warm bath. The kitten went into the sink, brown and crying, but he came out orange and purring. 
Oh my goodness, look at how dirty he was. I'm going to keep you, said Vicky, who already loved him. We'll name you Dewey Read More Books. Oh my goodness, that's a silly name. You can live here and be the library cat. But Dewey had no idea what it meant to be a library cat. So he did what all kitties do. He played. He lounged on the newspapers, rode on the book cart, and he knocked pens onto the floor. He goofed around with Marty Mouse. Ooh, is that a toy mouse? He snooped in all the drawers and always found at least one rubber band to chew on. Oh my goodness. But what Dewey loved most was the people. Tall ones, round ones, quiet ones, loud ones. The little ones, however, surprised him. And not always in a good way. Look, Nathan, said his mommy, there's a cat in the library. Nathan bent down and said, Hi, Dewey, Dewey, Huey. No, said his sister, Hannah. His name is Dewey Read More Books. Dewey squirmed. The boy was petting him in the wrong way. Dewey loved to be petted, but he hated being petted in the wrong direction. Oh my goodness. This little boy doesn't know what to do with the cat. Dewey was licking his fur back into place when he heard a strange noise. Wah! Dewey's ears perked up. He looked around. Wah! Wah! Dewey sprang into attention and crept really slowly towards the sound. What do we think that is? Is it... Surprise! The little people, Dewey discovered, can, can, can be even littler. It's a baby. They love to giggle and grab and pull and coo. Babies are wonderful, Dewey thought. Cute and smellicious, too. What? Do you like how the baby smells? A few days later, Dewey went exploring and discovered a secret room. The most exciting thing he had ever seen. It was children's story hour. Wowie whiskers, this looks fun, Dewey thought. And he pushed into the room with his nose. Someone shouted, there's a cat in the library. And Dewey froze. <gasps> He's not supposed to be there at story time, is he? It was quiet for one minute. But then everything went wild. Oh, everybody loves the cat. And the next thing Dewey knew, he was being carried upside down. Oh my, Dewey thought. What should I do now? That's not how you hold a cat. Late that night, Dewey talked to his friend, Marty Mouse. The library is a wonderful place, but I'm tired of being pulled and poked and carried upside down. I'm not just a cat in a library. I'm the library cat. A library cat helps people, I think. And I'm 92% sure that this is the reason I'm around. Marty Mouse didn't say anything, because he's a toy. I'm going to do it, Dewey said. I'm going to help people. And then he felt so happy that he threw Marty Mouse into the air, kicked him around with his back legs, then slept on him like a pillow. Oh my goodness. The next morning, when the first people arrived, Dewey was waiting to greet them right by the door. He's looking at the glass. And all morning, Dewey acted like a library cat. He read with the mommies and grandmas. He helped the daddies work. Oh, he's in a suitcase. And he even helped shelve the books with the library lady. You think he's helping with that? Oh my goodness. And when he saw little Nathan again, he turned a circle around and a half so the boy could pet him the right way. And I'm so glad we're friends. Do we, we Nathan said. Dewey smiled at that. Oh, he still can't get his name right, but at least they're friends now. By lunchtime, Dewey was worn out, so he found a good box. First he put his front paws in, and then his belly, 
and he squished his back end down, wiggled around until he was all the way in and closed his eyes. Oh, he barely fits in there. There's an orange muffin in the library. Does that look like a muffin? Oh my goodness. Just as Dewey was about to go to sleep with sweet kitten dreams, he heard a heavy sigh. <sighs> His eyes popped open, and he saw a girl on the other side of the library. A sad little girl, reading very quietly all by herself. Aww. So he climbed up close and stared at her, and she looked the other way. He sniffed her hand, but she wouldn't play. He knocked her mittens on the floor, but she let them stay there. Then he saw her jacket and had his best idea yet. Uh-oh, what's he gonna do? Silly always works. I'll be a silly cat today. The girl stared at Dewey as he wriggled around inside her jacket. You look like a fuzzy hot dog in a purple bun, she said. And then she surprised him. Ooh. She laughed right out loud. I love you, Dewey. Read more books, the girl whispered as Dewey nestled into her lap and began to purr. This is it. This is the real reason I'm a library cat. It feels great. No, it felt better than great. It felt perfect. Ah, he got to help everybody in the end, didn't he? Do you think we should have a library cat here? I don't know. Well, I hope you guys stay tuned for more story times and come in and show us how much you love your library. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.